Hello, my name is Daniel and I'm here to tell you how to set up VAPEN modification in your project. First of all, you need to migrate Shooter Kit in your project. Then, if you already have your own character, I will show how to set him up. I will delete default components, I don't need them, and uh, then I will add uh, all components to the character. You need to open demo character and copy bindings, camera replication and component initialization to your character. You can change bindings or initialization if you want, but uh, you need to get rid of the errors. So change the camera variable to variable of your camera and the mesh variable to variable of your mesh. Now you need to set up your character skeleton. Add the open socket wherever you want and uh, place the open as you like. You may set it like in the video. Now we need to stop player controller. Open the shooter player controller and copy the code from begin player to your player controller. By default we have animations of previous character in data table. Change shooting animation of the character to your So if you did everything right, uh, you can shoot now and modify VAPEN. You can add ammo, health and AI to the world. We need the, to add NovMesh to our map for AI navigation.
you can drag uh, world weapon blueprint to the map and set up its ammo. If you don't have this weapon, you will pick it up. If you have, you will just add ammo to the magazine of existing weapon. You can set the weapon that will be able to play at the start of the game in the component. The array will be overrided if you have game saves. Now I will show you how to set up the weapon. I have just migrated a skeletal mesh to the project. Set the base color texture in your weapon material to parameter with name texture. Then you need to modify your weapon skeleton. You need to add at least three sockets uh, with the same name as in the video. Create a child blueprint of the world weapon, uh, but before this, you need to be sure you have added a new weapon row to the weapon data table. You can set start characteristics of the weapon without modification.
Now we can set the open variable to create it row. You can set characteristics as you want. Also, you are able to change types of the weapon. If you choose rifle type, you will be able to shoot one bullet per click. If you choose gun, you will be able to hold button to shoot. And if you choose shotgun, you will shoot multiple bullets at once. As you can see, everything works fine and can be used in multiplayer.